Good morning, Anna. Um, really appreciate the things that you do. And this is to answer your request. Um, I'm reading because I've had to make bullet points. Okay, sorry about this. Yes, I untrust without a shout, shadow of a doubt the government. I think they are being led. I think they're being led by somebody much higher. And they have no common sense. This country seems to be worse than some of the others. They've done things so out of order. This is the lack of common sense bit. If they had to run a home like a housewife, God alone knows what it would look like. They're full of lies, and we know that for certainty. The figures are so hyped. This has been like a very bad cold, um, perhaps flu, but then nothing, not even remotely close to the flu figures that kill year on year. And I remember specifically 1718, the 57,000 that died from the flu, they were miles ahead of the figures that are coming out now. This has been created for fear. No, terror. We are being turned into confused, terrified people without a shadow of a doubt. Because of the lies and the utter confusion and the downright fear, the propaganda has now infiltrated people's minds over a five month period, which will be extremely hard to now undo. We follow a couple of people who tell the truth. We know the doctors and the nurses are blowing whistles on the amount of terribly wrong things that are being stated by the untrustworthy government. And I fear for where we're going next. And I particularly have grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Um, I, I lost my mother last year and I, I don't think I'll ever reach the age she reached. Um, because we are being driven into something frightful and it's much deeper and much darker and you cannot tell people because the propaganda of that TV up in everybody's corner of their sitting rooms or wherever has indoctrinated the propaganda so deeply we will never get people to change their minds. I'm terrified.